Notice your Galaxy S23 is always on display. Feature not showing anything on the locked screen. This useful feature failing to work can stem from software glitches, settings errors, or app conflicts. With some diligent troubleshooting, you can get AOD working again. Before we move on, please take a second to like our video or even share it with your friends who might have issues with their devices. It's a great help for us. Now let's jump right into our tips. First solution, adjust the display timeout setting. When using always on display, it is important to make sure that the display timeout is set to a sufficient amount of time. If the display timeout is disabled or set too low, it may not function properly. To adjust the screen timeout, navigate to the settings menu and select display. From there, find the option for screen timeout and select it. You can then choose the desired length of time for the screen to stay on before timing out. Set the timeout to 30 seconds or one minute minimum. Now check if AOD now displays consistently. Second solution, toggle AOD off and back on. Toggling the AOD switch off and on again can help reset the feature if it's not working properly. This can sometimes clear up any temporary glitches or issues. To toggle AOD first, go to the settings menu. From there, select lock screen and then choose always on display. Disable always on display and wait a few seconds, then enable it again. Also make sure that show always is selected until you're finished troubleshooting the problem. Verify that AOD is now working as intended, because if still not, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, update the software. Installing the latest software updates can fix OS bugs that may be interfering with AOD's proper functioning. To update the software, simply navigate to the settings menu on your device and select software update. Tap download and install to get pending updates. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation and check if AOD works after the software is updated. Fourth solution, perform a factory data reset. As a last resort, backup data and perform a factory reset to eliminate software issues that are stopping AOD from displaying. To reset your factory data, navigate to settings, then general management, and select reset. From there, choose factory data reset. Tap reset and confirm when prompted. Patiently wait as the phone resets to factory condition. Test the AOD function after the phone reboots. With extensive troubleshooting using these steps, you should be able to fix Galaxy S23 AOD failures arising from incorrect settings or software issues. We hope this guide has been helpful. Thanks for watching.